All right, kindergarten, I have another devotional for us to read today. I have it right over here behind my plant. It says today, shout it out. Oh, I wonder what we need to shout out. Let's read. You've learned about God's awesome power. You've heard about his amazing love. The Bible has told you how he saves the sick, the dying, and the hurting. He protects his children. He provided his own son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. And he wants you to live with him in paradise. That's heaven. That's worth singing and shouting about. Think about all the things you have learned about God. Thank him for the goodness in your life each and every day. You can trust God to help you as you grow up. He will take care of you. He is the creator who made you and loves you forever. Praise him. Kindergarten, that's a cool devotional because it reminds us again that there is good news right now. I know that right now we are still seeing a lot of things about how we have to be careful when we go out. They want us to wear masks now when we go out, which is okay. It's all about taking care of each other, making sure that we don't spread germs and making sure that we don't get germs. So kindergarten, I know right now it might seem like, oh my goodness, so much is going on. I can't really have fun anymore. But remember, we still need to find all of those happy and good things going on in our lives. And some of you let me know already some of those happy and good things going on. Some of you said that you got to play. Some of you said that you are thankful for God and Jesus being in your life. Kindergarten, I love hearing the things that you are thankful for. So there's a prayer in here. So let's find our right hand in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, I praise you for your wonderful creations, marvelous love, and awesome power. Thank you for bringing me into your family. Oh, I like that. It does remind me that we are all part of God's family. Every single person on earth is part of God's family. He loves all of us. He loves that we are all so different. He loves that we are good at different things. He loves that we have different hair colors, different eye colors, different skin tones. He loves everything about us. Why wouldn't he? He made us. So kindergarten, I want to know today, what is one thing that you love about yourself? What is one thing that you love about yourself? I think that's important right now for us to remember that there are things we love about ourselves because we can we can kind of forget about that sometimes. We can kind of start to get down and we're like, I can't do this. I can't do that. I have to stay home right now. I know it's hard. So think about one thing that you love about yourself. I want to know about it. Let's talk one last time about how Jesus is like this plant here. So this plant started off as just a little seed, just a little tiny thing. And it started off way deep down in this pot down in the dirt. I couldn't see it. I didn't know it was there. If somebody just handed me this pot full of dirt, I would have been like, great, thanks. It's a pot full of dirt. I'm not sure what to do with a pot full of dirt. But because I took care of it, I watered it. I made sure it got some sunlight. I made sure that it had air to breathe. And I made sure that that soil stayed nice and healthy for it. It started to grow. That's how Jesus is in our lives. He might feel like just a little tiny seed way down deep in your heart right now. But if you show other people his love for you and you show other people how you can love them just like Jesus and God love you, he will grow within you. Just like he came out of that tomb on Easter Sunday. He doesn't want to stay buried deep down inside. He doesn't want to stay in that tomb. He wants to grow in your life. He wanted to come out of that tomb and he wanted to show everybody, look, it's okay. Everything is okay. So the more that you show people that God and Jesus love you, then the more they're going to feel that God and Jesus love them. And the more that you're both going to feel that everything is okay. So we know that Jesus is God's son. And we don't really know what God looks like. Nobody's ever really 
seen God and then told us what he looks like. But we just kind of make a guess. We know that we call him God the Father. So we just kind of guess that he's like this older gentleman up in heaven who maybe has a beard. That's just our guess. We have more of an idea of probably what Jesus looked like since he really was here on earth. So because Jesus was here on earth with us, he grew and he changed. Just like you guys are growing and changing every day. Your hair gets longer. You get taller. You have to have new shoes sometimes, don't you? Because your toes start to get really squished inside those shoes because your feet are growing. Jesus did the same thing. He grew and he changed. He was a little tiny baby. Just like on Christmas morning, we talk about how Jesus was born. He was a little tiny baby. He didn't stay a little tiny baby. He got bigger too. Mary, his mom, had to go and find him new clothes. She was like, Jesus, oh my goodness, you are just growing so much. You're just sprouting up. I have to go and I have to find you new clothes and maybe some new shoes to wear. So Jesus grew and changed in his physical way. Physical means body. Remember, we talk about phys ed, physical education, learning about the body. So Jesus grew physically, but he changed in other ways too. Just like when Jesus was put in the tomb, he was a lot like a caterpillar. When Jesus was here on earth in his human body, he was a lot like a caterpillar. You know how caterpillars like to go around and they eat and they grow too. They start out as little eggs and then they go and they grow into like something that we call larva. And then as they get bigger, they become an adult caterpillar. Well, same with Jesus. He became an adult caterpillar. When he was here on earth, that's what I like to think of as Jesus's caterpillar times when he was going around and feeding the people on the mountain and talking and hanging out with his best friends, the apostles. And then Jesus had to climb up that mountain. They put him on the cross. Oh, I bet it hurt because he had to have those nails in his hands. I bet that hurt really bad. But Jesus was super brave, right? And I like to call that Jesus's chrysalis time because he didn't stay up on that cross. They took him down and they put him in that tomb. And I call that Jesus's chrysalis because he didn't stay in that tomb. He changed while he was in there. Just like a butterfly comes out of its chrysalis, Jesus came out of that tomb and he was beautiful. Not just the way he looked was beautiful, but everything that he had to tell everybody was beautiful. Just like a butterfly is beautiful. He changed so much. And then, just like a butterfly flies away, Jesus did ascend up into heaven, and that is where he is now with God. He is hanging out in heaven with God the Father and the Holy Spirit.